Hi, my name is Owen. I'm one of the instructors here at Learn to Fly Melbourne, and this is our TRC simulator. We use this simulator for students to practice their procedures and checklists on the ground, and it's one of the most cost effective ways for students to learn to fly, whereas compared to flying the aircraft, which costs significantly more each time we start the engine and go flying. The simulator also allows young pilots for them to put their passion into actual practice so they can get used to flying the aircraft before they actually step into the aircraft itself. In events of emergency procedures and checklists which we can practice on the ground, we use these things as well. And they allow us to get the student more confident and more fluent in, in repeating those actions in the aircraft and on the ground. So they when they get nice and good at doing it, we can chuck on the aircraft and when they do it, they don't have to repeat the lesson or redo the lesson because they fumbled around or made a mistake which could have been fixed whilst flying the simulator on the ground. Flex Sim can help us learning all basic flying procedures. For example, those essential checklists, um, the details of the flight, the routine and etc. And we can practice the emergency and urgency scenario by using Flex Sim again and again. Therefore, if we really encounter in real life, we won't be panicked anymore. Also, practice make perfect. Flexing can be done under any time, any weather. And we can simulate different conditions and the scenario, for example, different airports and different, air, um, different weather conditions and aircraft. And we have no consequence if we fail. So it is a very good way to try by error and gaining our self-confidence. And in between all the flights, we can do the flexing. For example, before the flight, before the flight, we can uh, use the flight sim to rehearse what are we going to do in the sky, and after the flight, we can use the flight sim to show what we have learned today.